how's it going y'all this is old country and welcome back into another video today and finally we have a habitat speed build for y'all it is the first one i have done since the asian small clod otter all the way back in april with the wetlands animal pack release and i am so excited today to bring you the striped skunk speed build uh just before we get into it all y'all know you can find me on instagram that's old country yt i post daily over there we do a lot of fun stuff with the stories it's just a you know it's a real good time real fun time so go follow me over there and also check out my old country shorts channel that will be transitioning into old country clips because i want to do a little more than just shorts i want to add in some video clips and stuff clips from our podcast and whatnot just so everyone can get a taste of uh, what we do here on the old country youtube channel so without further ado let's start talking about the speed build you see in front of you so basically if you couldn't tell already the inspiration is coming from hill country texas it is my home i did want to give you a little bit of uh, a little taste to home here with this and also uh most of my choices with this uh, habitat speed build is because a lot of people I was noticing when they're doing the striped skunk speed builds or the red fox speed builds or they were doing something like the raccoon speed build, you know, any of the three right there because the wombat is technically outback Australia, not much variation you can do there. Uh, but with the three I listed, everyone was either doing like just like pretty much was just doing like temperate woodlands something like that like either like east coast like woodlands or they were doing something like pacific northwest-esque you know kind of or maybe canadian wilderness type thing midwest i don't it was just everyone was doing the same thing and i'm like okay i i kind of i want to differ differentiate but i still want to produce something good and of course you know me, I had to go with Texas. Uh, we have all three animals I li in this pack. Uh, we have red fox, uh, obviously not all in the same area, but we do have red fox, we have raccoons, and we have skunks. I have seen skunks countless times down here. I've seen raccoons countless times. Um, it, it just made sense for me to do it like this. It made sense for me to use my more natural surroundings and really try to replicate Texas Hill Country with this and kind of do like a little valley section, a little... Um, Kind of as you'll start to see in the speed build here a little uh like i said valley little cliffside area where just a you know two a male and a female skunk are gonna you know try to make little skunk uh families little skunk babies but i just thought it would it's kind of like the most opportune place to live there's a lot of cover you know so that they don't get hunted by birds of prey and stuff like that um it allows them to uh kind of take cover under that tree and there's a lot of you know rocks and you know sp just kind of sporadic uh, places of foliage, just kind of stuff like that. There's things you'll see in Texas Hill Country. And a little bit about the surrounding areas too is, I don't know what plant they're called, but they're those spiky green plants, but they look a lot like of the yucca you'll see around here in Texas Hill Country. But the game does have yucca, but it's not the correct species that we have down here. And the, the other plant looks a lot more like the one we had down here. And I like to use that in my Texas kind of hill country speed build stuff or whenever I'm building in the theme of Texas hill country because they, they look like yucca. And the big thing when building in Texas hill country style is you got to have a lot of rocks. And it was very important that I get the rock variations and the rock work correct uh, to kind of and the colorations to match the, the surroundings I see here uh, just right outside my house, believe it or not. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much what all the inspiration came from all i had to do was walk outside so it was kind of like the perfect speed build for me and i really hope y'all enjoy what i have here and uh, just like the otter the asian small cloud otter speed build we're gonna have those real talk segments so you're kind of just gonna be able to chill for a little bit listen to some of the music i have in the background and then uh in the time codes below or just pop-ups on the screen you will see when we have the real talk segments and for anyone that doesn't know what real talk is it's just a few like one, two or three sections in the video where if i see something important that i really want to talk about and address why i did this or how i did this that is what real talk is uh so we don't talk throughout the entire video because it would be it's like good to be like a 20 to 30 minute video it'd be a lot of rambling um so i just kind of let want the speed build to uh, speak for itself and that's kind of why we do it and yeah I talk about rambling uh you can listen to my podcast friday nights uh but yeah that was a little bit of a shameless plug there uh, anyways, I'm going to let y'all enjoy the speed build. I'll see you with Real Talk 1 real quick. Uh, see y'all later.
y'all welcome to real talk one this is a segment where we just talk real about some of the stuff you're seeing on screen uh, just so we don't do a lot of rambling on and on throughout the video but anyway what you're gonna be seeing here is just some of my uh, rock work and foliage work and stuff like that I um, me just trying to figure out and see different combinations of trying to get the rock work and the foliage work to kind of flow with each other blend in with each other make it look as realistic as possible I have I, I take constant I just take tons and tons of pictures I'm constantly taking pictures is what I was trying to say of the my scenery outside and stuff like that and this is why you gotta follow me on Instagram I post not only Planet Zoo content over there but I also post different things in real life I post different pictures of nature or the zoos and stuff I visit or the aquariums I visit and it's a real good time over there but anyway further on the real talk basically what you're going to be seeing is me trying to figure out layering just different color layers different uh how to just blend in the the faux rocks with the faux trees you know trying to figure out the colors uh trying to figure out the foliage making sure everything looks as natural as possible and you'll see me kind of like go in and change some things going to change some angles or delete some things and replace some things you'll see me change some colors of the rocks to give a variation but then I like I, I'll go on and be like oh, I didn't like that and I'll change it here and there I uh, just just I, I'm constantly changing things this is why things take so long I do a lot of work sometimes off camera as well I and I know I probably should record it but it, it would be boring if I did usually my speed builds I record uh, just what the, the bulk the chunk of like what you see there like I said there is gonna be a little bit of stuff in the uh, in the backstage area that you're not gonna see because it's basically me just fiddling around for hours trying to find something that feels right and then I'll put in the work uh, that that goes a lot quicker but yeah but anyways, uh, what, what, what you see here is mainly the bulk of the rock work and stuff that I did. Very minor changes went, uh, went on and um, were changed off screen, but everything you see here is pretty much what you're going to see in the finalized product. It's just me making sure, like, just I, I go into things and I touch things up. I'll be like, I didn't like this section here. I'll do a little touch up on here, go outside, try to find, like, some rocks or some rock work, you know, in nature. And be like, okay, let's try to mimic what they do here and try to like, get the rocks to blend in in a certain, like, with their certain colors and stuff to make it mimic what I'm seeing outside. So, yeah, that's basically my thought process on how I get rocks to work. I, I take a lot of inspiration from things I just see outside or uh, different pictures I see on Instagram and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's basically it. That's basically Real Talk 1. I'll see y'all in Real Talk 2 real quick here. All right, and welcome to Real Talk 2. We'll just kind of get right into cutting to the chase here. Uh, we are doing a little bit more of a detailed backstage for the first time ever in an old country uh, habitat 
animal speed build, whatever you want to call this, Zoopedia order speed build series, because that will be coming back, and technically, this is part of it. But without uh, distracting a little too much from that, uh, I do want to talk about a little bit around the, uh, the backstage stuff that I was doing. And as you can see, I am trying to make a realistic to semi-realistic backstage. I didn't go all out on this, but it is by far my most detailed one. I have made plenty of detailed, like hyper realistic detailed backstages, uh, just not on camera. I have done them for different projects and stuff in the past that I, I haven't really shown and stuff, I mean, some canceled projects and whatnot. But this is kind of like a, a compromise. Uh, this is me just kind of testing a little bit uh, within um, my speed builds and stuff just to see what kind of things people like uh, the reason I didn't really do backstages in the past is because they take me a long time to do so this one's kind of like a half and half I didn't record all of the interior I recorded the entire exterior of this habit uh, of this backstage area but I didn't include the entire interior because it took me another like two or three hours like afterwards to kind of mess around with it and start like figuring some stuff out with the backstage. And uh, a big shout out to Toves and to Lighter. I believe I'm pronouncing L Litter, Lighter. I don't know. Uh, you know, he knows who I am. I know who he is. We've interacted in the past. But yeah, I've been kind of studying Toves and Lighter because they are my two favorite habitat or backstage habitat uh, builders and I, I just think Lighter and Toves get it right in my eyes they just they provide some of the most realistic and most detailed backstage areas and so I, I kind of went into some of their builds and stuff and some of their videos and really start, started trying to dissect what they do and come up with something that is similar but also more in my style of how I do stuff and I think I came out with a product that is pretty good so um, when this goes on the Steam Workshop you'll definitely definitely be able to go in and explore a little bit more of the interior work that I did but in terms of the video at the cinematics in the end I'll make sure to include an interior shot so you can kind of see uh, the final product of what that kind of turned out to look like uh, but yeah that is real talk too I just wanted to explain a little bit of the backstage situation that I had going on here so yeah I hope you enjoy the rest of the video Thank you. 